Writing acts as a confident explorer and archivist within Phoebe Boswell's expansive and interdisciplinary practice. Underpinned by poorest diasporic consciousness, her work explores the notions of home, freedom, protest, grief, intimacy, migration, love, the body and its world making. Using autobiographical stories as catalysts to contest histories, geographies and imagined futures, it denotes a commitment of care for how we see ourselves and each other. She draws and writes and also spans the mediums of animation, sound, video, interactivity and chorality to create layered immersive artworks, installations, visual essays and performances which affect and are affected by the environments they occupy, by time, the serendipity of loops and the presence of the audience. He told me that I did indeed have a lizard in me, which is preventing marriage. It is called Jeannie Mahaba, the passion spirit. It doesn't prevent me from meeting lovers, but it makes me do anything in my power to mess it all up. He told me he could get rid of it very easily. All I have to do is go back to him every day for seven days, and he has to rub my entire body with a specific leaf. And he says after that, I will be married in a month. I decline. Ida Edda Mariam is a senior feature writer and editor at The Guardian. Her first book, The Wife's Tale, is influenced by writers such as Michael Ondaatje, Marina Warner, Colm Tolbin and E.A. Wallace Budge. Structured according to the Ethiopian agricultural and orthodox year, it is told in a free, indirect third person and uses techniques and occluded deliberately female point of view and voice and characterization that is usually found in novels. The Wife's Tale was a finalist for the Governor's General Literary Award in Canada and won both a Royal Society of Literature Jerwood Award and the 2019 Royal Society of Literature Andartia Prize. Gaya Holmes is a writer and author of three poetry collections, Dr. James Graham's Celestial Bed, Lifting the Piano with One Hand, and Where the Road Runs Out, which charts the story of Gaya's journey to Orkney to provide emotional and palliative care for her father. It transports the reader to the edge of things, to remote, treeless islands, to dark, unfathomable minds, to the gaping moor of grief. With frailty and ferocity, this book maps out the strange absences in our lives when a rupture occurs, like the sudden appearance of a sinkhole, threatening to pull everything else down with it. Gaya is currently working on her debut collection of short stories titled He Used to Do Dangerous Things. On glaciers, with thick sheets of glass between us. Already, you have forgotten me. My name turns blue on your lips. At night, the hotel glows with its chandeliers of seal-fat candles. And from the outside, you can see us. You can see through us. You can see our meaty hearts choking under traceries of frost. Syra Niazi is a London-based writer, renegade guide and founder of the Living London Project. Over the years, she has written extensively on the places and people that make up her home city. Her writing has been featured in various magazines and journals, including Huck, Time Out and The New Statesman. In 2020, Syra self-published a collection of personal essays entitled Belonging, Reflections of a Renegade Guide focusing on themes of exploration, love, faith, transience, mental health, and being a woman of colour. So a wandering is an outdoor exploration which allows us to connect people to places, stories, and ideas, uh, and also to inspire mindfulness and creativity. On The Wanderings, we explore how we use spaces and communities and create new work by documenting our journey creatively. 
So a big part of the wondering is to enable people access into spaces and to get them to explore the possibilities that surround these spaces. We've visited some really varied spots, including nature reserves, a yacht club, artist studios. Now has been the perfect opportunity to create these wanderings and to give people an opportunity to experience them.